Travis Scott celebrated his solo return to the stage after performing in a sold-out show in London. In today's video, we are going to discuss his return to on-stage performances. Stay tuned to find out why we are calling this as his official return. The rapper performed in front of a sold-out audience in London at the O2 Arena, where he also shared some unreleased new music like God's Country. The song was actually cut from Kanye West's album Donda, which was released last year. Travis Scott celebrated the performance on Instagram by sharing a video. The caption stated, Wow, London, a moment I can't forget. An Instagram post from Kylie Jenner also shows that Scott was also joined by her and their daughter Stormy. The post also shows former Houston Rockets guard James Harden and Brooklyn Nets forward Kevin Durant. In a sit-down interview with Charmaine Dugat, the rapper said, I'm the face of the festival. I'm an artist. So, yeah, the media, they want to put it on me. People close to the rapper also said that Travis was not aware of the harshness of the crowd surge, and the rapper has also rejected legal commitment for the deaths and injuries. However, Astroworld was not the first time that Travis had encouraged scrutiny for his live shows and the way that he motivates his fans to rage with him. This also leads to the creation of mosh pits, people crowd surfing, and stage diving. If you are liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Now let's continue. In a 2015 GQ video titled How to Rage with Travis Scott, the rapper explained, since he was six, he wanted to be a wrestler. So in performance, he always wanted to make it feel like it was the WWF, which is now known as WWE. In the same year, Travis was claimed guilty to charges of sudden conduct after he motivated Lollapalooza attendees to climb over security barricades. In 2017, he was arrested on charges of provoking a riot, violent conduct, and threatening the welfare of a mirror after a show in Arkansas. In the same year, Travis was also charged by a fan who said that he was pushed from a third-story balcony after Travis motivated him to jump during a New York concert. The fan was left paralyzed by the fall and Travis even talked about the incident in his 2018 song Stargazing. The lyrics said, and it ain't a mosh pit, it ain't no injuries. I got him stage diving out the nosebleeds. On Saturday, Travis appeared on the stage at London's O2 Arena for his first global show since the Astro World tragedy. He'd previously performed at E11 Nevin in Miami during the Formula One Grand Prix in May, as well as at a Coachella party on the pre-Oscars bash. However, this was his first leading solo show since the festival and his girlfriend Kylie Jenner and their four-year-old daughter Stormy were also present to support him. The beauty mogul shared many pictures and clips from the show on her social media accounts, including a sweet video of Stormy watching her father perform on stage. However, another post sparked intense backlash as Kylie filmed Travis raging backstage after the show. In the clip, someone who is supposed to be Kylie can be heard laughing as Travis is screaming while slamming and kicking some doors. Travis is also running down the hallway while being sprayed with champagne by his staff who are provoking him on by yelling, biggest in the world. Travis pauses to scream some more before he makes his way down the hallway and is doused with champagne. Kylie shared the video in the middle of some other posts on her Instagram page, as well as a standalone post on TikTok. Travis Scott, whose real name is Jack Hass Webster, was born in Houston in 1992. He lived in Missouri City and graduated from Elkins High School. His debut album, Rodeo, was released in 2015 and reached a position of Billboard's Rap Albums chart. He also founded the Astroworld Festival in 2018. The rapper has a long history of encouraging fans to escape security and rush the stage at previous concerts. Scott has faced lawsuits and even an arrest in the past that were associated with his behavior at different shows. The November event was also the first time when someone passed away during his concert. What's your take on Travis Scott's live performances? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. With that being said, it's time to end our today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out!